A big Bay Area tradition is happening this weekend. Runners are going to take their mark for beta breakers on Sunday. People can run, jog, dance their way to the finish line. A lot of them will be wearing some interesting outfits. But joining us now is one of the people who will be running in beta breakers this weekend. And he's been participating since 1975, Pete Shaw. Thank you for joining us here on Crown for News this afternoon. How are you doing? What are you doing to prepare for Beta Breakers this weekend? Uh, pretty much, you know, five, de five decades is nothing, right? <laughs> so we are um, flying in tomorrow, and uh, we have a group of, of have three or four people that uh, have run. We've run uh, 20 races together from 81 to 20, 2000 is uh, parade floats, but they outlawed that. And um, mm -hmm. So I've been running on my own for the last 23 years or so. All right, so um, you started when you lived in Sausalito. Your family has now moved now to Phoenix. This yeah. race has changed a lot over the past couple decades. What do you remember about your first race? And we also have some uh, a look back here at some of your previous races. Like I think we have some okay. pictures of you from like the 90s and stuff. What have uh -huh. you seen change during this race? Uh, well, we started, we all worked at the phone company at 180 New Montgomery and Howard. And um, we watched, uh, we, most of us got there around 1972, probably watched two or three races and uh, everybody going by and we go, you know, what's that all about? So we just uh, signed up one year in 75 and uh, we ran uh, up until 1980, through 1980 together. Uh, and it was just a phone company group doing that. So that was relieving stress at work. And then uh, we finally, uh, Towards the 1980, it got crowd, more crowded. And then we also, in 1980, saw a uh, six guys running as a centipede with uh, bottle caps on their heads. So we, uh, and going as Heineken beer. So we just decided we might be able to run as a six pack of uh, any kind of beer, just like you're seeing there. And uh -huh. um, we uh, were able to uh, put together a uh, Carlsberg elephant, which is a beer we hated. Uh, we always got a Tommy's joint. We've been a Tommy's joint every time. You go to Tommy's joint too. after. Is there a, an outfit that you have dressed up in that's like your favorite, that's your most memorable? Um, we always did heads. So different beer heads. Uh, you can see in some of those pictures, uh, we did ducks, we did bears, we did kangaroos, we did snakes, we did, uh, there were 20 different ones and actually 19 different. And then the 20th race in year 2000, uh, we won the competition for costume. Because oh, I had uh, an overhead piece to the added to the float, and we carried it with straps, and um, I put all uh, 19 of the heads up on top, and then we were doghouse beer that year, and uh, won the contest. So that was all just fun, and the kids I had three daughters. Uh, the um, part of painting it, and we you know constructed new every year out of PVC pipe, and. Uh, they never allowed any wheels, so we never, mm -hmm. you know, had to worry about that. What do you love mm -hmm. about Beta Breakers? What has made you come back year after year to participate, even flying in from out of state to run in it? I, th I think it's, you know, more than ever, it's the people, and it's the it's the race course itself. It's so fantastic going through uh, Golden Gate Park and uh, getting down to the beach, and but the people are really it. Uh, there's hardly any negatives ever, and. Um, you know, you, you don't know if the guy who's next to you is going to take off his clothes and go naked or uh, which they, you know, outlawed. But, of course, that never works. <laughs> so you probably uh, just keep uh, it's different every year. And if you like something different every year, you know, it's something and it's healthy. Um, mm -hmm. It certainly has helped me. I've had three, four knee surgeries, but uh, the last one was in 2006. So I've been doing, doing pretty well. So you, uh, you've really seen it all, people dressed up in all it. sorts of things, even wearing nothing. What would you say yes. to someone that this is their <laughs> first year doing it to like encourage them to keep you know, your tradition of doing this for almost 50 years? Well, believe it or not, I have a nephew who uh, is going to run it for the first time. And um, his uh, name was Matthew Peter, but my brother had a family tradition of flipping middle name to first name. So mm -hmm. he's another Peter Shaw, to the, maybe he'll keep it going. Maybe he'll keep it going uh, and have fun at Tommy's joint after the race. Certainly. Stretch a little bit before. Yes. Drink some water. 
Yep. Me, me, the oh, non-runner, yeah. giving the runner advice on what to do. Pete Shaw, oh, so on, glad you could on. join us. Have fun. Can't <laughs> wait on, to see what on. you wear. Let us know how it goes, okay? Okay. And okay. if you want to walk it, walk it. Some of us are walking it this year, too. I'm more of like a sideline kind of chick, but okay. I'll be cheering you on. Well, you'll run into my wife then. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's my style. Pete, have fun. Okay. Thank you for joining us.